Hello there. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's cold. It's December 2nd. It's cold up here. It's like 30. I know for some of you it might not be that cold, but whatever. Hey guys, all right. So today I have an update for you on the Gainesville sinkhole. It's gonna be three days this time, six days. I think it was kind of heavy because I lost some of you. Yeah, I look at my analytics and I see how, how long you guys watch it. So I lost some of you and we're gonna keep it to three days this time, okay? It's gonna be more of a map walkthrough. I've taken extra, I guess, measurements. Just now keep in mind, I have a couple of disclaimers. They're right there, or I'm gonna put them in the description below. I'm not gonna blab on about that, but I am gonna walk you guys through the three days that I took mapping images and some measurements on. All right, so, oh, before we get started, we cannot get started without you subscribing. We cannot. Subscribe. Go. It's down there. Go. Hit it and hit the bell while you're at it too. All right, let's go. I'm gonna... All right, guys. So now we're going to get into the map and model. So a new, little interesting feature about this thing. So I'm, this is what it, the sinkhole area looked like before it actually, it actually, I guess, opened up. So here we have this, the sinkhole area. And if I turn on my outputs, that's what it looks like. So between there and there. See, no more pool. Pool is gone. If you look at the center right there, no more pool, pool is gone. So here are all my lines. I did a little bit of extra measurements over here on the sides. So that way I can see which way it's expanding. This house over here went down before November 12th. I think that was before, I think that's also seen in my previous video. And then this is a new development where this house uh, also came down before the 12th. So here we see that it is 101 feet from its initial 88 feet across. Just check out the area, see how much, how big it is. We see that it is, let me take this off, about 7,000, about 8,000 square feet. Before we move over to the 17th, we are gonna hit this icon here that says 3D. It's gonna give us the more, I guess, accurate representation of what the depth is. So here we see 16.86 feet, okay? I'm not really gonna dive into this because again, you can only map what you can see. This is all covered up by water. So this isn't the actual bottom of the sinkhole to here from the top of this piece of dirt that I can find to the bottom, 16 feet. All right, let's go to November 17th. Let's take a look at our depth in this model. Okay, so I already see it, the green line, 14 feet, okay? 14, close to 15 feet of water. The tree, we can see, fell in. You can probably see that with our other, from our other picture. So here we see 108 feet across. Here, let me hit 2D so that way we can see it better. Ah, much easier, much better. So there's a tree. So 37 feet, not really any change. Five feet, disregard that. It's not accurate in this uh, model. Our bottom right, 41 feet. So this is actually a change from our previous 47 feet. So we can see that the hole is kind of growing towards the east. Okay, this is north. This area is north. This area is south, east, west. So we can see that this distance is growing smaller from our 47 to 41. Okay. Most of the other lines also stay the same. Let's see the area. So 9,000 square feet. Hmm. Grew about a thousand square feet. So let's get this off. So here again we see, so it looks like a little bit more water came up from the aquifer or possibly rain. So let's go to our bottom left edge, 37 feet. Still stay, stayed relatively the same. We're gonna go at depth later. Bottom right edge. Now we saw this one 
at now it's 39.7 feet from our previous 41.6 feet the top left edge 16.6 relatively stayed the same my top edge relatively stayed the same at between 11 and 12 our diameter stayed relatively the same at 108 feet that it hasn't really changed much only, only in about here this eroded but we can see that it's pushing this way it's definitely pushing towards the east let's look, take a look at our 3d model and that way we can see our depth and it's 11 so it went from 16 feet about 17 feet in depth on the 12th to 14 feet on the 17th to now 11 feet on the 27th and then if we take a look at our area 9,000 feet 9,000 square feet all right guys there you have it there is an update on the Gainesville sinkhole like I said I'll keep doing this project maybe coming out once or twice a week see how it changes I mean as long as I can fly and there's people interested about knowing this kind of stuff I've talked to a couple of the neighbors that are around there they want to know what's going on with the sinkhole since you know they can't really see it so it's kind of a project for me it's a service for them I'm trying to give back to the community since I have access to drones and I have access to this kind of technology give back to it so thank you very much guys for tuning in Please like, comment, subscribe. You have no idea how much every style of interaction with this video helps with. Here are my other uh, links that you can go, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website. If you wanna check out any other services down below. I'm also, I also have a couple of links to Robinhood and Webull. If you wanna grow your wealth, stocks are, are big right now. I mean, this is also one of the reasons why I'm doing YouTube, I wanna, grow my business and yeah guys thanks for tuning in join me next time and i'll get you guys another update in a couple weeks and i will put out more videos other than the sinkhole thanks